So everywhere I've traveled over the last many years, anywhere in the world, from, from Istanbul to Sao Paulo, to Tokyo, to Moscow, to you name it, I, ask, I talk to children and, uh, and I ask children the question, why do you go to school? And the answer all too frequently is because I have to. And, and I don't think that's a good answer. I think it's an answer that people uh, laugh at. I think it's a poor answer because if you don't know why you're doing something, well, how would you be motivated? So we need to not reinvent purpose, but we need to point back to purpose. You, go, you do this for a reason. Okay? And the reason is not, I want to be rich, I want to be Cristiano Ronaldo, I want to drive this car. The reason is much better than that. The reason is who you are going to be. So I think the first question, the first thing we should do is stop asking children what they want to do when they grow up. Because the answer is really easy. I want to be a footballer. I want to be an actress. I want to be a YouTuber. The question should be, who do you want to be when you grow up? Because that then becomes about principles and values. Because if I say my granddad, I'd have to explain to you why I give that answer. So the thinking processes and the emotional processes uh, are much better. So there is an element of role model. There is an element of every child is everyone's responsibility. There is an element of us as adults looking at ourselves and asking the question, how can we help educate our children better? Because the danger becomes that we will have a society where children are well-schooled, but ill-educated. Uh, and then what are schools? Under the system of examination and inspection and testing and testing and testing, schools are places where a government decides what children should be taught. Teachers teach the children what the government wants them to be taught. We call it a national curriculum. And tests and inspections ascertain how well the school has done what the government wants it to do. And you can have that schooling conversation for hours on end without mentioning the word child once. 